Now let's look ahead to the big challenge about Adelaide and I'm going to move back because you played two tests in Adelaide, yeah. challenging both of them in different yeah. regards. Yeah. The red ball, the pink ball, yeah. under lights, what is the difference in well, the I'm, challenge? I'm going to start with the red ball because if you look at the red ball, it doesn't shine as much. Even when you look at in the camera, you can see that this ball is a lot shinier than the red ball. The reason is, there's a there are a few layers of lacquer on this. There's, there are a few layers of paint on this which doesn't go off quickly. Mm. And when, when you are facing the red ball, the moment it, it's a normal leather ball where there's a bit of shine, but the moment it gets old, it gets old quickly, whereas the pink ball stays like this for a little longer. And because it has more layers, when it pitches on the surface, when it hits the seam or even the shinier part, it skids on a bit more. So as a batter, you have less reaction time. You don't have the same amount of time which you have with the red ball. And that's the major difference one has to adopt as a batter. There's also a lot of talk about not just the difference in the ball, but also the difference in times and how the twilight session and yeah. the night session, they pose different challenges. Break that down up for us. Whoever has played with the pink ball will tell you that the roughest time to bat is twilight period. Because at that time, the light isn't ideal. It is not dark enough for the you know, stadium lights to come in and then you have that brightness and the daylight isn't bright enough. So that's the time when it becomes quite challenging for a batter to see the pink ball.